you know your clients in New York do. It's like kind of like starting in our, our next session, uh, being more in the, you know, like in the role play of, of you being the prospect and I'm being the, uh, the God salesman. And because uh, I think that's, you know, it's, it's of course, you know, it's a growing pain, but but it's it's I think it will it will help. It will help, you know, get get better at the, at this. I mean, because I, I do feel and maybe you, you, you can agree with me. It's uh, the way I the way I treat sales now compared to when we started working. Of course, it's, it's totally different, but I want to just take it one step. Well, do to me what I just did to you in a role play. I don't care mm-hmm. what uh, I'm a prospect. I don't care what the scenario is. I don't care. And I want you to get me relaxed. I want you to get my attention. Mm-hmm. I want you to suggest things by helping me to paint a picture in my mind, not by you, uh, by you suggesting and ending in a question and painting a picture that's so emotional, but you've got to get me focused and relaxed suggest things and help me to paint a picture in my mind you got mm-hmm. you can't force me to do something i don't want to do that's bullshit you can't get people to do things that's they don't manipulation want to do. that's you know it's manipulation a... and it doesn't work they in most cases people are not good enough to do that it can be done but uh, most people don't have that skill set and what it ends up doing is the person resents you. And that totally defeats the whole purpose. So I want you to foc- get me focused, get my attention. I want you to tell a story, ask me a question, get me completely immersed into you, get me so relaxed while you're painting a picture in my mind, and then get me up that yes ladder or make a commitment or get out. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, we'll take, so this is guts 2018. This is yeah. we're, we're evolving now. We're going to yeah. we're going to a whole nother level here. This the stuff I am teaching you today is very dangerous in the wrong hands. In the right hands, it'll make you rich. Good. So so Claude, um, I mean, I, I really I really appreciate your 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 taking my call today, and um, and I want you to. Close your eyes for a second, and, and, and let's let's okay, imagine. Do a prelude first. Okay, how do you're I do too a prelude? Fast. You're kissing the girl, and you haven't bought her a dinner yet. Okay, yeah. Slow down. You're always in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> I, brought, I, brought, I brought a bag of condoms to the first date, so, so that's that. <laughs> Claude, ask me. You're my doctor now. Take on the doctor. See, that's the trouble with sales. It's so many different things. It's so confusing. And I want you to realize, Claude, why are we talking today? What would you like to see happen? I appreciate you calling me. You said that before. What, what, what are we hoping to get? We're, we only have 15 minutes here. You have a half hour, but don't worry. What, what is it you want to see happen? What, what is the biggest challenge you're facing? Well, you know, well I mean. You do I it to know. me. You, I know how to do it. You do it to me now. So, so yeah, remember, this is a, a, a property, that, a distressed property. So, okay. So, so Claude, I, I really appreciate your your. Um, you're you're calling me back and and you know it means yeah a lot. yeah I know I've I've got letters and people coming to my door and everything. What do you got? Uh, you know what? That's uh, that's a great question. My, my my wife asked me the same the same thing when I first met her. But okay. uh, but Claude, <laughs> humor. I love it. Yeah, see that uh, you're bridging the gap. Right. So, but I'm um, I'm just i'm just curious to see i mean what's your biggest challenge what what would you oh, like to... it's just these people are out to get me and you know we had a little problem i had a, i had a hernia operation and i couldn't work for a while and now i'm on unemployment and we're we're you know we've had a few challenges but i'm working on it i'm gonna fix it mm-hmm. no and, and and it sounds like you're a brave man because you're trying to get back to work after you know going to surgery so so it, that speaks you know a lot about your character but um I mean, but but let let's uh, let's imagine for a minute. Just pre- let's pretend that that this you know that we can solve this problem in the next you know thirty days or less, and and you can be done with this property, and and you know maybe your you know your your wife would not have to uh, get me oh. off the role play. I'm sorry to interrupt. You're doing great. No, you're fantastic. I want you to get me, when I go like this, I want you to get me relaxed. When I do this, I want you to keep my attention. I want you to get me, Claude, I want you to feel comfortable. Use words. Mm -hmm. Words are your scalpels, your tools. Claude, I want you to feel 
I want you to feel relaxed. Are you comfortable right now? I want you to feel good. Uh, I want you to feel comfortable because I'm going to give you a few ideas. Maybe we can help you help you solve this problem. I say, are you comfortable right now? You know, are your feet on the ground? Are you, you feel good? Is the air conditioning on? If it was the summer, I just talked to the guy in Texas. Yeah, and I'll be you, here you, for you. You're in, Fl- you're in Miami. It's going to be 80 to get. Is it going to be 80 today, hun? Yeah, it's going to be 80 here in California. The spring has sprung. Yeah. So, but I want you to get my attention, get me focused, get me relaxed. By the way, you use your Sometimes your words are high, high pitched, fast. Sometimes you got to slow them down a little and get me relaxed. Get me in that nice. Ah. You ever daydream? Remember in school, I used to daydream all the time. Yeah, no, I mean, it happens to me all the time when I'm driving. Do you know, it's a sign of, do you know drive. that's a sign of higher intelligence, by the way? Seriously. It yeah. means you have a very strong creative mind. You're always thinking of new things, new ideas, new stuff. That's the creative mind. People who daydream are creative. Got to get me relaxed so I'm receptive to what you suggest to me. Mm-hmm. You're going to then create that pic- picture. Go ahead. So, so yeah, Claude, I'm, I mean, I'm just... Do you mind if, if, if um, I ask you a few questions, then you ask me a few, just just so I can have a better idea of, of, of what are your biggest challenges, and I might have a solution. Well, if I don't want to, we don't want to sell this home. My wife loves this home. I don't want to lose this home. I'm not going to lose this home. And, and, I, and I don't want you to lose your home, sir. I, I, I made a decision. I'm, I, w- I want to be part of the solution here, oh. but but Claude, um, that was good. That was very powerful. I like that. But Claude, I mean, what do you think it will happen? Let's just pretend for a minute. Oh, they're all out to get me, and uh, they're, they're jerks and everything like that. And I'm not gonna, um, you know, I'll I'll find. It. I'm working on it. I'm gonna find a solution. I got an uncle in Milwaukee, who I haven't spoken to in ten years, and maybe he can lend me some money or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm sure your uncle is a very good guy, but uh, um, but but you want me to tell you the truth or lie to you, sir? No, uh, the truth, of course. If I mean, if 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 your uncle doesn't help you, you might lose this house, and and that isn't something your your wife or you would like to do. I mean, would like to uh, happen. What choice do I have? I mean, I got equity in this house. I you know I know we're. We're we're having a little hard times right now. I'm behind four payments, uh, but I got about a hundred thousand equity in this house. Mm-hmm. And, and and suppose I'm not going to lose all that. And and uh, we're gonna we're gonna work together. And, and you know, I, I, thank you, thank you, Claude. I, I appreciate your being so upfront about your your situation. And 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 suppose there was a way where you know we can get this get this problem solved, and so you can pull up. You know, most of that equity you have in the property, and so you can have you know your you, you can move to a nice condo you know in a nice neighborhood, uh, and then your wife you know can be mm-hmm. okay. Beautiful. What you're saying is beautiful. Get me a little bit more relaxed, Claude. I want you to I want you to be comfortable. I want you to relax for a minute. Let's let's imagine for a moment. Even put your head back, relax for a second. Close your eyes even, and I want you to imagine uh, imagine that. You're in a nut. You're out, and then do what you were just doing. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. This is like, kind of like the the, the persuasion that we're doing. What, what we say before, but we're taking, but we're taking it to a much different level. We're going to his subconscious right now. Mm-hmm. We're paint. We're helping him to relax, so he's totally receptive. Okay, got to be careful. Can't do this with everybody. Can't do this all the time. You got a guy who was hysterical, nuts, angry, all the different states of depression, everything. Now you're getting him to relax. You say, tell the truth. You did that great. Now you got to get him. Say, you want him to, in such a, uh, he's paying so much attention. He's so focused on what you're going to say next. And he's so relaxed that it's going really deep inside. And now you're painting a picture in his mind. You're suggesting things to him. Mm-hmm. And you're using your words beautifully, by the way. You're, you've got a great tempo the way you're using your words. Very Gotta good. Practice. So, so that's why I want to. I want to. I want to continue doing this on the next session because it's. Uh, I feel like that's. You know when when you feel like you're you're in a plateau because I mean I. I consider myself that that, 
I need a lot of work in sales, but it's still I've uh, what I've accomplished in the past year. I'm 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 proud of of, of my progress. I'm proud. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. But but I think that that now this is the year to you know to, to do the the leap. It's what we're doing here right now. This is it. This is the most important thing in business in sales. You can study. I'm not against studying all the strategies. I'm not against the marketing if it gives you leads. But the conversion is where you make King. money. King. It is it. It is yeah. all about. See, everybody focuses on the, the VAs, the mailers, the click funnels, the new guru of the week, this guy, that guy, reading this book and that book. This is what you and I are doing right now. The practice with the logical science and the art, the, the way we say the words, the way we pronounce the words, the way we keep the tempo, the way we get them. This is where people say yes much more often than they'll say, I'll think about it or no. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, you, you have not, I mean, if you have, you know, if you do all this, this marketing effort and you're not converting, then you're dying. What's the point? Yeah, I guess you got to go. God, give, let's, let's do a few extra minutes here. Okay, cool. Let's uh, hold on. One second. You're right. I'm at, we are out of time, but it's okay. Hold on one I second. Thought you were, I thought you were back to back. I am. The... I'm pushing it back. This is too much fun. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is, I love it. This is guru. Uh, this, what do they call This is guru. That's 2.0. It, it's, it's guru privilege. <laughs> yeah, no, it's called. It's called uh, I just it, admit. It, I just it, cracked it, myself 